So again, let me show you how corrupt the health system is in Canada, especially in British Columbia. <clears throat> so I fall below the tax bracket of where the province can charge me this monthly health insurance. So they've been sending me a bill of like $150 every month for like years, even though that I fall below the tax bracket of where they can charge me this insurance. And they do it anyways, they don't care. I was at H&R Block doing my taxes and then all of a sudden they're like, yo, you, you owe like $1,600 to the government. I'm like, for what? I'm like, I haven't got no loans. I never, no student loan, nothing, none of that. So we called and found out it was this health insurance that British Columbia has been illegally charging me <laughs> the whole time. And I didn't even know. And H&R Block was like, but they're not legally allowed to charge you this, 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 uh, this tax or this, this medical insurance because you fall below the tax bracket of where they would charge somebody this insurance. A monthly bill comes in, even if you've never used, um, never used the ambulance, never used the hospital, never used any medical in the province, and I never did. I haven't. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, at least let me use the fucking hospital before you charge me a fucking sixteen hundred dollars. Like, let's at least save my life. Like, at least let me take an ambulance like ten times. You know what I mean? So even H and R Block, they deal with my ink, my taxes, right? When I went to do my taxes. And they called him up and said, "You know, you, you guys can't do this, right? This this individual we have, we we're doing his tax. We're directly in contact with Canada Revenue. We know his income, his, we know his source of income. We know uh, where he falls, you know, in the in, in the tax bracket, right? And they said they know they know the law. They know this. This is what they do, right? H and R Block, the professionals at doing this. And they're like, you can't be charging him this. So now you're putting you just." basically illegally put me into debt falsely put me in debt so they should have corrected that you know what they said h and block well we're gonna do it anyways right on the phone with me sitting there on speakerphone and i'm like i'm looking at the motherfucker i'm like i wanted to say something right but i couldn't interrupt right and they're like just chill just chill you know and i'm like bro what do you mean chill they can't they're they just said they don't give a fuck they're breaking the law and they just basically said they don't care to H and R Block that deals with my income and knows my 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 position, and where I, where I land under the the whatever the tax, whatever you get the point. Um, so I'm still after I left the province and everything, I come back to the province, and as soon as I come back, again, they're sending me the bill in the mail. They know better. They're not supposed to be doing this. They're illegally putting me in a debt illegally charging me a tax or uh, a medical health insurance that I'm not obligated to pay because I, again, I fall below the tax bracket. You know what I mean? And here's that. Hopefully this is being shown, but it says $300. It's upside down backwards type thing because I guess because I'm using this, the the front camera instead of the back camera. Maybe I'll add a little video after this. But yeah, $300 already. <laughs> I just got back um, three and a half months ago. And now I'm $300 in debt on top of the 1600 from before. When I just got a secure credit card to start building my credit back. And they're trying to destroy me. The thing is, is when you come from a different province, like Ontario, and you come to BC, they try and get rid of you. They squeeze you out. They they break the law. They bend the rules. They do fuckery to you to try to drive you fucking insane. So you just say, fuck this, I'm leaving, and you go back home to Ontario. And I've heard this from multiple, multiple, multiple people that have been through this and gave up, folded, and went back home. Me? I said, fuck you. Suck my dick, bitch. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't doing nothing to me. I don't care about your debt, homeboy. I'll wait for seven years and that'll clear. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll build my tax. Maybe I'll build my credit up and, and, and go to my bank and yank and get a line of credit for 10, 20 grand and just rob you for that and never pay the government back. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll flip that 10, 20 grand until I make 100, 200, 300. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's, it's pure corruption. It's illegal. 
you know, it's the, the, the BC government is probably the most corrupt government in Canada. I didn't know that till I came out here and I seen how corrupt it is. The RCMP, you know what I'm saying? They're in on all the the trafficking out here, even the human body trafficking. People are going missing and stuff like they're involved. They've been paid off by certain organizations, you know what I'm saying? Of some straight gangsters and they've been infiltrated. Anyways, that's a different story. That's a different video. I made a video about that. But anyways, just more, you know, some more proof of how corrupt, you know, the government is, even in Canada, you know what I mean? They've been infiltrated, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they're ruining lives for absolutely no reason. They're making it so you can't progress, you can't prevail, and you can't get ahead financially. If you're under a certain tax bracket, they don't even want you here, you know what I'm saying? Get out of here, because this is a royal place. It's, uh, you know, it's like a king-queen type place. It's a royal, historical, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's uh, a suit type place, you know what I mean? It's a rich, it's the richest place in Canada, British Columbia. Um, and it's funny because everybody out here thinks that they're gangsters, but they live in the nicest place in the entire country. <laughs> and, you know, they just, <laughs> it's just hilarious, man. This shit is pure shenanigans, you know what I'm saying? If you want to do that corrupt gangster shit, go to fucking Toronto. You know what I'm saying? Go to the slums and see if you can make it out there. I guarantee you won't make it. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll be happy to be a normal fucking civilian citizen in fucking BC. Stop tripping. You ain't about that life. Stop being about that life. Stop forcing it. Bunch of bullies, man. Want to be gangsters and bullies, bro. And I don't respect that. And anybody that's real doesn't respect that. You know what I'm saying? This is also the, the satanic cult capital of Canada. It literally lies on the map. There is actually a grid in it, and it, it's like if shape of a pentagram, like a satanic thing. And this is there's pure witchcraft out here, satanic rituals, cults. It's a Mace, uh, Masonic city where I'm at. Again, you know what I'm saying? Um, people can figure that out on their own terms. I'm saying I cut myself shaving, you know. I hate it. I hate shaving. It pisses me off. But anyways, yeah. Um. So yeah, just some more proof. Like they're not allowed to do that, and they told, and Agent R Block even told them he doesn't fall below the tax. But we know your business. We know our business. We know his business. Why are you charging him this medical insurance when you're not supposed to be? Oh, uh, well, um, well, uh, we're just gonna do it. And they were like. They looked at me, the, like, the, the person that works at h and just looked at me and was like, um, okay. So they're basically expressing their, their, their authority in corruption. They're saying, we're going to do whatever the fuck we want. So that's targeted, in my opinion. So they intentionally are targeting me. The government is targeting me um, specifically. They know, okay, because there's no way that's going to happen. You're going to go to h and Block, they're going to call and say, why are you charging him this insurance? And they're like, well, because we can. And they're like, well, actually, by law, you're not supposed to be charging anybody this insurance unless they fall under this specific tax bracket. We know because we deal with people's tax and their incomes, and we deal with Canada revenue. We deal with the government directly. So can you explain to me again? And they had no excuse at all. They just said, we're going to do it. Sorry, that's how it is, you know? And they were just shocked. Like, you should have seen the shock in their face. They're like, they're so confused. And I was pissed. Like, I wanted to be like, you motherfucking bitch ass, punk ass motherfucker. Bitch, you take that shit off right now. Fucking come find your office, you pussy. You know what I mean? But obviously, that's not going to help. Because they're just going to be like, oh yeah, 300? Oh, let's just put a one in front of that now. Oh, 1300. Oh, ooh, ooh, shit. What did you say? Oh, you want another one? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... That's how they get down in BC. The government's corrupt. Canada's becoming more and more corrupt. Um, health insurance, like, healthcare is not free. The hospitals are fucking terrible. You're sitting there for six hours. You know, you can, you, like, hit it. And you know what? That's where you get targeted the most. Because I came in there having swelling in my fingers and in my feet at the same time, which you can look that up. And even the doctor said that's a sign of vascular circulatory issues. That's life-threatening. You shouldn't be having problems like that at your age, right? So, and then all of a sudden, 
I'm sitting in there for like five hours and the whole room has already filled up and cleared out three times. And I'm looking at these people, they're laughing, they're joking, they're happy, they're not in pain, they're not suffering, they're not in there in a severe situation. On Some of them, you know, I don't know for sure about everybody, but you could tell. <laughs> Why am I the last person still sitting here when the room cleared out three, four times and there's new people in here three times over in the last five hours, right? So I'm like sitting there thinking, this is me being targeted, you know what I mean? Um... They know my name, you know what I'm saying? I could be on a list of some sort, and they're like, yeah, just make sure he's last all the time, you know, just to stress him out some more, you know, speed up the process of his death, you know what I'm saying? Types, stuff like that. Um, because I'm in there on heart vascular issues, right? And then I went up to the lady, and I said, hey, I just noticed that the room's cleared out about three or four times in the last five hours, and I'm still sitting here, but everybody else is brand new, three or four times, brand new, I'm just a little bit. Did, did I miss my name? Did you did you guys call me already? And she's like, well, see, this is how the order works, okay? Um, it goes by severity of the ish, of the person's issue. And I'm sitting there like, what's worse than vascular circulatory like heart problems? Like when your fingers are swelling full of blood and your hand and your feet are swelling full of blood, and you're 28 years old. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not laughing. I'm not feeling healthy. I'm not feeling really happy right now. You know what I'm saying? But the majority of these people look like they were having a ball you know they're all laughing they got they're joking around they're eating chocolate bars and i'm sitting there thinking like well if the, if there was anything worse than vascular vascular circulatory issues right now they wouldn't be acting like that they would be scared for their life they'd be sitting there like you know not laughing not joking around not looking very well so that's bullshit you know what i'm saying that's that's not accurate so there's something else going on here and i know it's not just me tripping out so bullshit you know what i mean but i didn't say that i just i know the fucking game i already know how this shit goes <laughs> and it's just corrupt man so i've wanted to make a video about this and i just wanted to show you guys that you know um health is not free in canada and you will you will end up going to the hospital and walking clinics begging for help having life-threatening symptoms for years and you'll find out that the they're not going to help you and it actually worse it makes it worse and then you lose your mind because you're like oh my god the hospital won't help me the doctors won't help me nobody will help me i'm on my own and then they just laugh at you in your face they play games and tricks with on you to to play with your mental health you know what i mean drive you off the deep end and I noticed that after five, six years of experiencing this, experiencing it all over the country, and I, and I just realized, wow, how could I be surprised, though? This is corruption, you know what I mean? So, and, yo, the doctors, they're like teenagers, bro. Like, the, the females, they're like chicks that I've dated in the past. Like, they're literally vulgar. Like, they act like teenage chicks. They have attitudes. They're mean to old people. Like, the one chick was like, to some old man, what, you can't hear me in your hearing aid? In your hearing aid? Obviously, it's not very working very well, is it? I almost just wanted to spit on that chick, bro. Like, my word, I was outraged. I almost jumped on my... I, yo, I just wanted to spit right in her fucking face straight up. Piece of shit, bitch. You know what I mean? Why are you picking on fucking people that are weaker than you, you punk-ass bitch? You know what I'm saying? I fucking hate that shit, man. And that's what I've experienced all my life. Everybody thinks they're fucking gangsters because they're picking on somebody weaker or smaller than them. Or they're in a, a position of authority where you can't hit them. You can't do nothing to them to put them in their fucking place. So you have to be just allow yourself to be abused and dominated. It's disgusting. And that's what's happening in the hospitals out here, the walk-in clinics, and in the, within the medical industry in Canada. You know what I mean? So I couldn't believe it. And then eventually I just stopped going to the hospitals. I stopped reaching out for help. I stopped trying to get a family doctor. I haven't had a family doctor since I was nine years old. And I'm 28 years old now, okay? And I swear on my father's grave, I'm not exaggerating, I'm not lying to you. That is the truth. And, uh, yeah, I haven't seen a, a family doctor. Uh, I just gave up on the health system completely. I've tried for 10 years to try to get a family doctor. They put me on a wait list in, 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 in two different provinces. You know, I've been all around the country and I've tried everywhere, hoping that it would be better somewhere else, and it wasn't. <clears throat> and the wait list is three to five years <clears throat> where I am currently. So it's bad. <clears throat> and this is Canada. So what's next? There's nowhere else to go. 
and they sell you the dream like oh yeah come to the promised land you know everything's good here and then you find out it's a nightmare and they put you in forty thousand dollars worth of debt and enslave you to this country and then you're just trying to survive to get by off peanuts you know what i mean trying to provide for you and your family and then you're getting fucked around by the health system the insurance system every single system is just just, just pure corrupt you know what i mean so you know um I hate bullies, and that's what Satan is, man. That's that's how I know this is satanic. So, it's uh, I hate it, man. Anyways, that's all I gotta say about that. Check this out. What up? So, yo, this video is uh to basically show people. You know, I got a lot of viewers in the states and stuff like that, and uh, healthcare isn't free in Canada. All right, so I'm gonna show you that. Cause uh, when you go to the hospital, um, I got the video, it, show, it shows right on the window of how much it costs just to come in to emerge. Like 800 bucks just to check into emerge. And then another like 500, 600, just to like talk to a, a physician. So you get there, you pay the eight, and then now you gotta pay more. Bro, it's crazy. And where I am in BC is the only province in Canada, right? They call it states, different states in, 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 in the United States. They got states, we got provinces, right? So BC is the only province that charges you like a, a, a medical health insurance every month. I kept getting this bill, 150, 150, 150 in the mail. And it just kept stacking up on me. I don't even use the medical services. I've, ne I've never taken an ambulance. You know, I've never, um, you know, used medical services in the province. Checked into the hot, none of that. Like, uh, just recently I did for like the, f like for the first time. Um, but my situation, my situation is different because I'm under a certain tax bracket. So that's why I don't I don't get uh charged those things. But the majority of people do. If you're over a certain tax bracket. Um, you know. But anyways, I'm just gonna show you guys so you can see it for yourself. But yeah man, uh, the health system, uh, you know, it's it's getting pretty shaky out here, you know. It's getting to the point where it's just gonna be like the states, man. You know, if you don't have the money up front, you're you're screwed. Like, you can come in with a gunshot wound, and I'm gonna fucking save you. You know, like, so I don't know, man. That the the health system is is actually really corrupt out here in Canada, especially BC. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that. Uh, Cause I've been wanting to talk about it for a bit. So check this out.